What up, cut ups? I am visiting my Uncle Macy. He's in a, a facility that he came to yesterday. So I'm visiting him. Um, and I'm in the wrong, the wrong part. This is a real big place, as you can see. Okay. Real big place. So I don't know where the hell I am, but I'm going to try to figure it out. Anyway, stay tuned in for today's video, y'all. I don't know what that's going to be yet, but we're going to figure it out together. All right, everybody. Oops. This is not supposed to be a video, y'all. All right. Okay, everybody. I am in the cafeteria in here, and I am going to get a BLT with extra bacon on it, y'all and a Mountain Dew and a peanut butter cookie. So that is what's on the menu so far. Okay. I'm waiting for my food. Lady over there making it. So. Yeah, I'm visiting uh, Uncle Macy. He's in a facility, a hospice facility. He got here yesterday. And um, I'm just here to visit my uncle, y'all. Y'all know how I feel about my family. A lot of you know that Uncle Macy is, is sick, you know, uh, is terminal. And um, yeah, I'm just, just dealing with that and trying to be as close as I can to my uncle while he's here. Um, I knew that he was in and out of this facility, but I didn't know that he could have visitors. Uh, I never knew that. So, uh, found out today can and that's why i'm in here so yeah y'all i'm just spending time with him i'm probably gonna go back upstairs and and eat um in his room with him but i'm just waiting for my food right now so <laughs> people are so funny <laughs> when they don't know what you're doing <laughs> anywho i hope she hurry up I'm glad she changed her mind because before I came down here, the lady upstairs, she let me know. She said um, that the cafeteria was not open to uh, just like the regular um, guests, but it's open like for the staff. So she told me to take off my, uh, my visitor badge and she told me to I'm gonna put it back on. Oh shit, I just I just ripped it. But that's it right there. I just ripped it. The rest stuck on my phone. But anyway, um, she told me to take that off and just like pretend that I worked here or whatever, you know. Um, because she said she saw other all right, she said she saw other family members do it, so she had gave me the heads up on what to do. Um, in case I had a problem down here. She did offer to come with me. I thought that was very nice. So, all right, everybody, stay tuned. But anyway, like I was saying, because I got my food, y'all. But like I was saying, um, the lady had told me to take off my visitor badge and just pretend to be a person at work here in order to get my food. So, she said if I had a problem that she would um, come down here with me, which was really nice. Got down and I told her, I told her, I said, me, I may have a problem. They may give me a problem. And I got down there and <laughs> never fails <laughs> because I know the nature of most females. Um, there was a problem. She asked me for my work badge and all that. Y'all know I ain't got any, I don't work here, okay? So, <laughs> I said, um, could I just have a member of, you know, a person that work here? Can I have them order my food and come down here and pay for it? And, uh, cause the lady kind of let me know that this could possibly happen. And, you know, she said if I needed any help or had an issue to let her know. So I told her that. And next thing you know, she had changed her mind, y'all and let me go ahead and get it. But, and that's cool. But it's just that, why didn't she do that initially? Like, why do y'all think that is? 
what made you or what what do you think made her change her mind to all of a sudden do exactly what she said she couldn't do uh, initially what do you all think happened with that or why she changed her mind okay I'm gonna need some feedback from this <laughs> I'm on my way back up to the room with Uncle Macy, so stay tuned in. Food smells pretty good. I just wanted to get this um, statue or wall art, whatever you want to call it, but just get some more details on this. This is so pretty to me. I think this is really beautiful. I'm still in the facility where my uncle is. And I just wanted to get this. Very, very beautiful. <laughs> okay, everybody. So I'm at um, Sweet Baby Ray House, and I just just left my uncle Macy, and I just wanted to say that you know you really do need to cherish the time that you have here. Um, you know, with your family, your friends, uh, just. You really need to cherish the time that you have because they say you, you, you never know, and you never do, you know, when it can be, you know, your last day or night or whatever on earth, which is true. But when you know somebody that's, that has like a, a terminal, you know, disease or illness, that's, that's a little bit. Even though you know, it's, it's like still, it still is devastating. I'll say that. Okay. So, um, yeah, you just need to love the people that you love and um, care about and all of that stuff. You need to do it while they're actually still here. Um, you can't really stress that enough. I mean, you can't really put it another way. I know people because... I hope I didn't. Okay. But um, for the people that don't know, I went through uh, the same situation with uh, my uncle Michael. Okay. And, um, you know, I was fortunate enough to uh, have introduced my uncle Michael to, you know, you all. And, um, you know, we did a couple videos, you know, at his house and stuff like that. And, you know, um, you know, I'm just glad that you all got a chance to meet Uncle Michael. And, and you had a chance to meet Uncle Macy. But my Uncle Macy is more elusive. And, you know, that's okay. But um, Uncle Michael actually, you know, uh, wanted to tell his life story. You know, and so and I, I let him do that, you know, in a couple videos that's, that's on his channel. Um, and that was cool, but... It's just that, like I said, you can know that somebody is in a fragile state, you know, the dying state. And um, even though you know it's still, like I said, it's devastating. It can be depressing sometimes. Uh, but while that person is still here, that is the time to... I cannot stress that enough because... Uh, you know, people, some people, they say things or try to make it seem like um, it's so much love there, you know, for this particular, you know, loved one that's going through the ordeal. And they have the opportunity to show them, you know, that they love them or whatever, do something special for them, whatever, while they here, but people procrastinate or uh, you know don't do it for whatever reason that they may have okay i'm not judging nobody i'm just saying the truth um you know when when i'm right about something i will stand real hard and real firm on it because i know i'm right um I was one of the few people that was there a lot with my uncle uh, when he was in the hospital. 
uh, mostly at the VA. When he was at home, I was just there. And, you know, to me, that's what family is for. That's when you're supposed to pull together and support, you know, each other. That's the time to do it <laughs> uh, while that person is here. So when they make that final transition, uh, you feel, you know, the, the person or the people that was there when that person was there, you, you feel a sense of relief, you know, you feel a sense of peace. You know, you sad, of course, that that person is, is gone. But at the end of the day, you know you was there. Okay? You know that you let that person know how much you love them. You know, you spent time with that person. And that's important. So, if you know you did that, <laughs> you don't have that guilty regret type stuff going on. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, say this, you know, um, in reference to my mother, you know, uh, for some people out there, I know y'all know that being my mother have had, you know, a, a rocky, uh, past, you know, kind of shaky history, uh, of, of not really getting along. I mean, for the ones that don't know that, go back and look at some of the videos. You know, I got a lot of people um, upset because they was like, how could you talk about your mother? How could you say this? And, you know, <laughs> first off, you know, this, this is my channel. I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about here. And I'm talking about it for a reason because people need to look a little bit deeper and try to understand that it's therapy for me. To talk about it instead of keeping it inside you know and it helps me so if you don't get that I don't know what to tell you that's too except for that's too bad you know um, yeah so I just want to say that you know I have not talked to my mother you know in months now um, I have not seen her I know that she has moved. Her and Hammy moved. I don't know where. Um, I hear it's not too far from here, uh, Auntie Raynette House, but but I don't know where. Um, I haven't seen her. I have reached out to her. I have tried to call her. Um, you know, even from other people's phone. You know, like um, phones. Like uh, Uncle Roach when I was over there, spent the night over there. I think that was Saturday. Uh, <laughs> she answered the phone, found out it was me, and hung up. So, what else can you do? Not a lot. Uh, but pray and, uh, you know, ask God to try to help you, you know, guide you the right way or let you know what you need to do or. You know, something, something. So that's all I can do at the end of the day. And that's that's what I will keep doing. But your yeah, time is winding down on everybody. Okay. Uh, that's the truth of the whole matter. Time is winding down on everybody. So at the end of the day, uh, try to, once again, I'm going to reiterate it, but just try to love on the people um, while you have them here, you know. Um, and for the ones that's not here, you know, just, just always remember them. Never forget them, you know. Um, yeah. So, with that being said, you know, this is going to be a real short video, but I just wanted to you know, get this little message out, out there, because it's important, you know, I don't care about the views or anything like that, I just care about at least somebody, even if it's just one person, um, you know, to get the message, and hopefully, you know, it's not too late.
but to uh, love on the people while you have them here. And um, just remember, time is winding down on everybody. So with that being said, everybody, I'm going to go for now. And um, I'm thinking about doing a um, Popeye's wings with my sister's uh, sauce. The Smackalicious sauce. See how that works out. I probably won't get the wings spicy though. I probably do. But I'm thinking about doing that. If not, maybe some snow crab. We'll see. See how I feel. But anyway, guys, just stay tuned in and um, yeah, I'll see y'all, you know, in the next video. All right. Mm. I'm tired. <gasps> oh. Okay, everybody.